Cowabunga dudes, it's Drac, and this is a Turtle-tastic Blaster review. Check it out. So, there's some history here, there's some context to get into, but we're doing an honest review of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem Nickelodeon inspired Nerve Blaster. Real talk, this is a sweet revenge. It is a shell that they used in the Rebel Blaster series way back when Hasbro's marketing decided, you know what we need? We'll get more girls into Nerf by making blasters explicitly for girls. Let me tell you that while a lot of the shell designs were sweet, ultimately it was a little pedantic to kind of niche in and be like, girls want flowers and sparkles and purple and pink and nonsense. Most of the girls that I know who Nerf just like Nerf blasters. From the ashes of Rebel, we got one of the sweetest revolver shells ever. And the thing that we loved the most about it was how easy it was to give it ultra sweet paint jobs, make it match any loadout. And it looks like Hasbro determined the same thing. So in a world where the X-Shot skins blasters are making it so that virtually every toy blaster company is leaning into this whole like direct to blaster printing technology, you can see Hasbro is not immune. And they've decided that with the Ninja Turtles license and the new property coming out really soon, that they were like, yeah, what's the easiest mold we still have in the archive that we can print on? And for it to print easily, you basically have to have a large flat surface or a relatively consistent surface in terms of its elevation. And the Sweet Revenge does that across the board and it looks really good. So the open design here looks great on the shelves, but all that said, I got mine for 15 bucks on Amazon. It showed up in two days. I'll put a link in the description box down below. That opened way too easy. This might have darts. It does have darts. So it comes with five darts. I'm assuming the darts are, you know, specially turtle branded in some form or fashion. But overall, like I was just a, uh, ooh, wait, no, it comes with more than five darts. This is cool. It comes with 10 radioactive slime darts. That's pretty neat. All right, packaging aside, the blaster is sweet. So it's using everything that made the Rebel Blaster excellent. I forgot that the grips were a little small, but again, originally designed for lady type nerfers who tend to have slightly smaller hands. I'll go ahead and load this up. It's a pretty sweet five shot revolver. It's got a lot of open space up here to reload, but most importantly, you get this really awesome deco. It looks like we've got yeah, we have all four turtles, two on each side. Hard for me to tell the turtles apart sometimes for reasons that I won't go into, but this is all four of them. Then you've got graffiti slime on the handle here to really lean into that retro Nickelodeon vibes. The Sweet Revenge is just as spinnable as it always was. Just a slick revolver and then a uh, one hand wieldable. Obviously everything you like about the hammer shot. Having to keep up with the dart zone uh, the dart zone revolver now, so you're not gonna get pro level performance out of it, but you don't need pro level performance on everything. Sometimes you just wanna have a Ninja Turtle time. And uh, the Sweet Revenge is genuinely one of the best designs from Hasbro. I think that it fixed a lot of the issues with the hammer shot. And as you know, the hammer shot is one of my favorite blasters of all time. I mean, this is an elite full length firing blaster that is still a ton of fun years after its expiration date, and now it has Turtle Deco on it. And they're not really upcharging you for it. $15 for a revolver like this is where the mothership has been for a really long time. And this one has the best features in the Hammer Prime, as well as the uh, the Turtle Deco. And like the beauty of it is that it's just a brand new sweet revenge. It's just as paintable as it ever was. If you don't like the Turtle Deco, if you're not into the Nickelodeon slime, take it apart, sand it down, knock out those dart posts, turn it into a half length revolver with whatever paint job you so desire. I'll take it outside, we'll put it over the chronograph and make sure it still is hitting right in around that 55, 65 FPS range. All right guys, the, uh, the old humidity has unironically killed my chronograph. So I'm gonna flip it upside down so that hopefully it doesn't get any worse. And we're gonna do this range test mode. Ours is the old way. Being the weather, not ideal these days. So a uh, few level shots out of the old Sweet Revenge and I can tell you nothing has changed, not even a little bit. We've got darts curving down, going about 25, 30 feet. Now, if you tilt up, about 35 feet. Now, of course, as any true original OG nerfer knows, the best way to get extra range out of your shot, especially with a one-hand wieldable blaster, is to push bravely forward towards the enemy. So kind of like, and you'll know that that's about a 65 foot shot. Oh, and that one's in the neighbor's yard. Just a, just an old school trick from a 
from your friendly neighborhood veteran. If you're not getting enough range, add FPS manually. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, this one's a home run, right? $15 for a sweet revenge. These were going on eBay for 40, 50 bucks prior to this reprint, which tells you that the true market value of this shell to the hobbyist, to the modder, to the collector is quite large. So I would not be surprised to see these sell out. For Hasbro, this is just a branded tie-in, obviously a way to to take advantage of this technology and, and utilize their licensor agreement. For us, this is something pretty sweet, pretty special. So I think this one's a home run. I'll throw a link down in the description box below where you can pick yours up on Amazon, support the channel while you're doing so. But uh, that's my take on it. Comment down below, who's your favorite Ninja Turtle and why? Much love, blast on, drag out. Thank you.